What's going on everyone? So today we're going to be changing out one of the brake light bulbs on my 2003 Saab 93 Arc. I've been getting a message that says left brake light failure and sure enough one of the bulbs is out. So if you look at your tail light, this is the same for uh, facelifted 93s too. You have two brake light bulbs right here and here and you of course have a third one here then you have your turn signal and your reverse. Same goes for the other side. So this outside one right here is not working so I picked up uh, a couple bulbs for like seven bucks at AutoZone, so hopefully they're the right ones. I was told they're the right ones. They look like they're the right ones. So we're gonna have to take this tail light out and uh, replace the bulb. And then I also have some center caps that I bought for my wheels that I'll be putting on at the end of the video as well. So yeah, this process shouldn't take too long at all. So I'm gonna pop the trunk and let's get started. Okay, well, I guess I'm not gonna take the tail light out. I was trying to uh, disconnect this uh, little clip, the little wire, th wire thing right here, and I just ended up pulling this whole headlight assembly out. So now I'm gonna disconnect it from the little wiring harness. So we've got the turn signal on the bottom, and then we've got the two brake lights on the top. And you can see, no, you can actually, camera won't focus, but that filament is fine and this one is broken so this is the broken one so to get these bulbs out of this little like holder thing what you got to do is you have to push down twist and it just comes right out very simple so you can see the new bulb compared to the old one the filament is a little bit different but the part that goes into the holder is exactly the same so i think it'll be fine so to put the new one in just be careful using your hands on it it's going to be a similar process you're going to put it in one side, push down, twist, and then it locks into place. So before I get too excited here, I'm going to uh, plug it in. It doesn't really click in. Oh, no, never mind. There, it does click in. So now let's uh, make sure it works. So it looks like we're all good and they worked. I just watched it back. So now we're just going to slide this back in and we'll be good to go. So now, as promised at the beginning of the video, I have some center caps. They're actually not actual center caps. They're uh, stickers. They're like concave and they're shaped. Got these on Amazon. If you guys are interested, I'll leave, them a, I'll leave a link down below in the description. But these are for aftermarket wheels. So if you have different wheels, this size might not work. So I don't know what to tell you about that. If I mess this up, you're going to see me very disappointed on camera. So this logo is facing in a different direction than the other ones, but I'm going to say screw it and still put it in the same orientation so it won't. So the other ones are like this, the same direction as this, but this I'm just going to put like that to match all the others. Okay, this center cap is like coming off. It's like not in there the whole way. So the sticker is on the center cap, but the center cap is like a little bit loose. I just realized that. Huh. That might be something to look at in the future. Might do like a tire rotation or something. Nonetheless, the center cap is on there. So there you have it guys, these center caps. Oh, that's so cool, you can see the reflection of my Turbo X wheel <laughs> in the center cap. These center caps fit just about perfectly. They look absolutely phenomenal. Super happy with them. Uh, however, if they fall off next time I drive the car, I'm gonna be pretty upset, but the adhesive did seem uh, really, really sticky. So yeah, I think that's all I've got for today, guys. So that's how to change a brake light bulb out on one of these cars. I actually kind of did a similar video with the Turbo X a while ago. But yeah, I definitely say the more exciting part of this video was the center caps. I'm super, super happy. Those look so good. They really bring some pop to the wheels too, instead of all just being like a bright silver. Now you have that Saab Griffin logo. It just looks, looks amazing. Again, no guarantee that these will fit your wheels. You might want to find out what size that you would need, but uh, there's just the link in case you want it for some reason. So with that said, that's it for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.
Mm-hmm.